All right, guys, we're at the convention center right now in Orlando. We're about to hit the PGA show. Uh, we just played Bob Menery this morning, so we're a little zapped, but we got a little Starbucks, got our energy levels back up, and we're gonna go see what uh, what they got here. Yeah, we're pretty pumped. They've got some great uh, products here, and uh, we're gonna check them all out and see, uh, see what you guys think. My new favorite belt design. Uh, these guys make the best belts on the market. Gator and all kinds of other products. Yes, we do. Give it away. Fantastic. Drew belts and buckles. Uh, take a look. Interchangeable buckles. We've got this is our new icon buckle. Come, come take a look over here. We signed a deal with Arnold Palmer Enterprises. We did, we, did this, we did this buckle for Mr. Palmer a couple of years ago uh, for the tournament to kind of pay tribute to the, to the king. And, uh, and we've been selling it. Just recently, just recently, had a deal go through. But Drew Belts, interchangeable buckles. If you don't like plate buckles, you don't like um, different stuff like that, you want to just, you're just a traditional guy, mix it in and out. Seat belt on an airplane, you got a regular buckle. There you go. And if we wanted something like our logo on uh, the belt buckle, is that something that we can do also? Sure, we can do everything. We can do it all. Most, most golf clubs have ball markers already made, right? Just like that. We put a little ball marker in that in there, and it's an instant custom. Genius. So it's kind of, it's really cool. So you don't really have to go and buy all the high quantities that you have to buy it um, for a different uh, mold of a regular custom. And then what's, the, the, off. what's the typical uh, belt cost? Our, be our belts are 150, 150 retail. Okay. Right. At the show, we have special show prices. I'm not telling you. <laughs> Sales at dbbelts.com. Call us anytime or email us anytime. Right. So this is one of the classiest gentlemen out there. So, Mike Capone from Drew Belts. Give him some love. Go check out their, uh, Go follow us. Their belts. Exactly. Yeah, you too, man. Good stuff. I see John Daly right over here. Oh, yeah. Where's our belt? Hey, wait. There might be a John Daly buckle right here. See him? We got ordered some of your. That's right. Yeah, you're no longer. Yeah, so we just got into apparel. Uh, so we did like a spring 18 line with ducks in the fall. So uh, a little bit updated polo. Uh, so little details like under buttons uh, to kind of keep the color down. Uh, it's got a nice gram weight. Work for me. That's right. You like to pop the collar? Yeah, I pop the collar. Okay. Listen, you can unhook it. But it's 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 right here, a little bit further back, so you can't see it. Um, some fun fashion pieces like your camo. What we've done too is added little touch points to the product. So just little little details, a little pop. So it makes kind of your country club guy a little more bit country more. Country. Well, a little bit more country club, but also a little bit more. You know, so it's still classic, classic for this. Okay. Uh, we've got some fun layering pieces, some vests, uh, a little bit heavier. Uh, so this is kind of the vest in the middle here, and this one here on the side. Uh, yeah, it's a great piece. Uh, this is our uh, stitch weather system. This is the jacket I'm wearing. Uh, this is an SL1 rain here. So our bag's called the SL1. People kept saying, hey, the bag's small, the range, I can't play. What we've done is created this that'll pack into itself in the pocket, and so then it just slides right into the pocket of the ring. So it's a good piece. It's got lots of stretch to it. Um, pants that come with that as well. Um, some fun gear. We're calling uh, 2019 the year of the knit. This is our, our knit head cover. Dude, that's nice. It's a great piece. It's not like your classic knit or wool head covers that'll separate and lose their kind of lose their feel. Um, you can throw this in, a, in the wash if you want to get wet. This is our tour bag for 2019. So you'll see a bunch of guys out there um, rocking it. So it should be good. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, Stitch has some yeah. great products. We ordered some through the store and absolutely loved it. Uh, really good quality and uh, great, great brand. So check them out. Thanks so much, guys. Got it. Thanks. All right, 
Alright, what's going on guys? So I'm here with Troy Parrish. Uh, he's the inventor, one of the inventors, I guess, of Flag D Golf. And you guys have probably seen their product out at Santa Luz. Uh, we filmed it actually a couple times in some of our videos, but why don't you tell them uh, a little bit about the product? Sure, so uh, I've been a golfer my entire life. And one of my big pet peeves when I go out to hit golf balls is always trying to figure out on the practice facility how far it was from where I was hitting uh, to the different pit locations. Uh, so most courses they'll use like a plaque on the ground and have some type of A-frame sign to measure the yardages. The problem with that is then you don't have the yardages from where you're hitting, it's from the sign or that plaque on the ground. Uh, so that's what gave us the idea for flag. Uh, so with flag, what we do is we go out and we get the GPS coordinates for each one of the pin locations on the range, and we enter that into the, to the device. And now what you do is you bring this device back, and it sits on one of these back stands, uh, and all the staff has to do is press a button. It registers the device for the day, and now the pins are set. So what's cool about it is now you're not relying on an A-frame sign or a plaque in the ground. You're getting custom yardages right from where you're hitting. So if you're on the far left side of the range, you're distances are going to be completely different than what they are on the far right hand side of the range. Can it be calibrated for slope as well? Um, it can be calibrated for slope so we can make adjustments. We typically don't because what we try to mirror is what the experience is on the course. So when people are out on the course and they're saying, oh, okay, it's 150 yards to you know this pin uphill, they're kind of calculating that a lot of times in their head. So we try to mirror that as much as possible. But we can absolutely make those adjustments on the unit. So. In terms of the styling for country clubs that like to you know, have more wood and grain and kind of aesthetics, do you guys do any kind of customization? Yeah, we do actually. I can actually grab one right here. But um, So this is kind of a, an example of a customer we just launched. But this is Tim Aquana, which is in Jacksonville. And you can see kind of the customization. The course can fully customize whatever they want. They'll put their different pin locations as well as their logo and their background color. So we make it, you know, our goal is to make it very unobtrusive. So when the golfer comes up, they don't have to do anything. They just come up, they look at the device, and they go, all right, the red one goes 93 yards to the pin today. And make it as simple as possible and integrate it into their aesthetics of your club. Awesome. So yeah, make sure you guys check out Flag D. If you're a member on a golf course, uh, you know, throw a word out there to the GM or to the head pro and let them know that you'd love to see one of these. Nothing like going out there and pulling out your range finder every time that you want to go and hit golf balls. And it's just, it's a nuisance. This makes, uh, this solves that yeah, problem. Yeah, eliminates so, that for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, see you. Yeah. All right, guys, so right now we're at the Club Club booth. You guys have probably seen these bags when we travel. We, uh, we already, we've been using them for, what, about a year now? About a year now. We absolutely love them. I mean, these things are super sturdy. They have the stiff arm that you can stick into your bag that keeps the head safe. We usually recommend taking your, your the heads off of your woods anyway and just kind of stick it in your bag, but this thing is a great alternative to that and uh, keeps everything nice and safe. You can stuff so, much, so many things in here. It's unbelievable. We usually throw two or three pairs of shoes in there along with some other stuff, and uh, it's a great way to just travel with more stuff without paying for it. Yeah, we're super amazed at the storage space that th this bag really has. It's, it's pretty amazing, and uh, it's great material. Uh, like, like Marco mentioned, we've been using it for about a year and absolutely love it. So it, it's a, I think it's the number one rated uh, bag on tour. So obviously if the guys on tour are using it, it must be good. We love it. Uh, definitely check out their product. It's one of the best on the markets. Probably just go to clubglove.com and uh, go check them out. Alright guys, so we're here with Bomb Lampkin, uh, Lampkin Grips. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. They've been around for how long now? We started in 1925. Wow. Okay. We've been around a long time. <laughs> we're actually the oldest grip manufacturer, at least that's what we tell people. Because it started in 1925 in Chicago in my grandfather's garage. So it all back in the day we were leather wrap grips. So we started with the leather wrap grips. Grant started it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Awesome. So, so I'm not smart enough to do this on my own. <laughs> so what's new for this year? What do you got launching? Well, the new product this year is we have sonar, which is our sonar grip. Sonar Tour, Sonar Wrap. And what really that is, is that we were able to, our goal is to bring innovation to each category, whether it's a wrap grip or a mid size grip, uh, fourth grip. So what we did is we call our new material Genesis Material. That, that brings the grip to life and it's, it's tackiness and its longevity. And then our fingerprint technology is our process in which we micro texture the surface of the grip. Because what we're trying to achieve you know, in grips is we want a, a very secure, what I call a confident grip. 
but we don't want to choke it and make it a lot of grip pressure because that's going to hurt you when you're trying to get some speed in your swing. And then what we did is with sonar, we, we reevaluated the, uh, right now the grips are kind of less tapered, a little bit more where your hands are working together as opposed to each other. So what we've done is we've combined the genesis material with the fingerprint the surface technology and the on champ dimension and it gives a grip, I'm going to let you hold that. Yeah. So that gives it's, 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 it's a very unique feel to, Crazy. yeah. So, and Sonar was launched this this, this show. Um, we have it in different sizes and in different models. For example, this is our, our Sonar Tour Grip that has more of a traditional taper. It's a little firmer for players that, that want less torque. A lot of guys that have higher swing speeds, they don't want the grip moving in their hands. Right. This is more of a universal, comfortable uh, durometer of gauge grip. And I, it's been our most popular. This particular grip was uh, actually developed with uh, Justin Rose. And Justin designed it to his specifications. So we're calling it Sonar Tour because, you know, the logo will go down and he flights, he flights his ball flight based on where his hands are here. So it's very unique and very, 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 uh, very tour player-ish. Right? So this will, this will go out on tour um, to the tour players. Um, we also have the same technology in wrap grip for those that like the wrap grip. And we're, what's really exciting is we're now bringing it into uh, our putter grips, which we have the same genesis material and, and the surface textures. Because what we're trying to do is, is really get the feel of rubber back into your putter grip again. Um, and it's, it's just been well received. So what you're going to see from Lampkin going forward is we're going to hopefully technology, functional technology, that players just enjoy playing with it. So it's very exciting for us. Awesome. Well, we're going to have to try these out. These looks, I mean, I love this idea of kind of, you know, having a, a, a different spot where you can grip it and kind of knowing that that could be a little knockdown shot or take a couple of yards off yeah. of you and just yeah. having that visual. So, yeah, I also, I, I always tell, I always tell the, 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 the people when we do our interviews, I said, well, you know, when you grip these, yeah. your irons are 8 to 12 yards longer, your driver's 50 <laughs> yards longer. <It's>, uh, <laughs> wouldn't, that be, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, that would be awesome. Right? Right, now, give them right. a try. I really Thanks appreciate so it. Much, Thanks, Thanks, appreciate it. Thanks. Hottest driver on the planet right now. Love this thing. It's that high toe uh, that Roger Cleveland was talking about. It's got the extra groove up, on, up top and the little nipper groove down nice and low. I think just looks sweet. Looks awesome. How about these uh, Forge Apex Blackies with the black shafts? Alright, I got the uh, the Stroke Lab 7, the one that Marco plays, but the newer version. Uh, we've got the, the great shaft that they just created, which is the Stroke Lab. Um, just helps stabilize the, the shaft and the, uh, the face, so you can uh, hit more and make more butts. I got some. I got some. I got some good for you guys. We just, we just hit some uh, some custom tees. Oh yeah, check these things out. Roll that camera. <laughs> Roll that camera, man. Uh, yeah, we just did these uh, these fresh uh, custom tees, three different styles. I personally like this one the best, but yeah, here. Awesome, Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. No, no, way. Always take oh, other people. This was just this was just some sugar that yeah, we'll I. Take that too. I yeah, right. <laughs> this was just some sugar that I desperately needed. I uh, just got out of like a 50 minute podcast. So, uh, I'm not feeling good. I mean, my voice isn't feeling good, but I'm feeling good. This is my gamer right here. Yeah, this is you know that, right? Right now, it's going Yo, to be. Team Marksman. If you're not on Team Marksman, then you're missing out on literally the world's greatest alignment ever. Like, I can't misalign a putt within 10 feet if I try with this thing. Pick out a spot right in front of the ball, it's crazy. And this is the putter you no. use? Oh yeah, Team Marksman, Stroke Lab, get like a little bit more consistent stroke, back and forth. No. I'm telling you, just try it. Can't like wait. literally just try it. It's like it's it, it speaks for itself. Tell you know? us about the technology. Yeah, for sure. So so Stroke Lab is really the technology. So what it is, it's uh, it's half graphite, half steel. We took weight out of the shaft, we put it, we distributed it in 30 grams into uh, the butt end of the grip to counterbalance it, and then we put 10 extra grams in the head too. So now you're getting a much more consistent, smooth tempo. Um, that's why we wanted to take some weight out of the shaft. Um, 
for a lot of golfers, remember like when we used to have like the tank putters and the counterbalance putters? Like, so weight and the grip has become like very crucial, especially for golfers with like maybe like shakier strokes or something like that. Um, but we found through like you know very extensive testing that there's actually like data behind it when you when you distribute weight better that it does lead to more consistent strokes, better speed control, uh, better distance. Um, yeah, so like we can't wait for golfers to try this. Thing. Like it's crazy. Like we we can't wait. This is probably my the technology that I'm almost like most excited for, and we use like a supercomputer with the driver. But like the Stroke Lab, it just looks good too, right? Like the look is like amazing. really clean, it's be my game, right? I mean, it's really clean. I love like the black shaft look with the little steel at the end, uh, with the black and white head. I mean, look, I mean, can you tell black and white are like my favorite? <laughs> I mean, it's like literally the only colors I wear. Uh, yeah, but it comes in a lot of different head shapes. Marksman's my personal favorite, but there's some blade options. There's a number nine option that Phil uses. Um, you know, there's the Tuttle cutter. I don't know if you guys remember the Tuttle, uh, but the, the Tuttle was um, one of Callaway's first putters ever. When Callaway made putters, before we bought Odyssey. Uh, so a lot of great different head shapes. Uh, for, any, for every golfer, there'll be a head shape that you guys really like. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're pumped. What other Callaway products are you excited about? Oh, well, Apex Irons, Apex Pro Irons. We make them in a smoke finish. Um, you guys want to check them out? Yes. Yeah, let's go check them out. Yeah. So, Apex, we haven't had a new Apex since uh, since 2016. So, you know, golfers every year are like, when are you coming out with a new Apex? Um, it's our most premium distance iron. Uh, I mean, just the, just by looking at it, stunning right off the bat. Just a, one, of most, one of the most stunning irons. The 2016 version was probably the, the best iron that Callaway ever built. Uh, golfers couldn't get enough fit. In fitting days, it was like the obvious the obvious choice. Uh, face cup technology, which is what we're which is what we're really known for. That means when you hit it all anywhere on the face, you're still you're not going to lose much ball speed. And then when you hit it on the center of the face, forget about it. Like it's it's gone. Like the thing is it's gone. Um, your thing microspheres that we put right in here for enhanced sound and feel and then the center of gravity is different in each iron uh, just to help the different launch characteristics so four iron it's going to be placed a little bit differently so we get the ball up in the air more uh, five iron different so every every center of gravity position is different in all those irons and then more of a player iron this is probably more more of your speed right here right buddy uh, apex you and marco um, apex pro is a, a smaller shape it's going to have a thinner thinner top line which like a lot of a lot of better golfers prefer um, so yeah smaller shape but this year we put face cup in the long irons in apex pro which is something we've never done before so players iron with that distance technology is crazy like that's i mean i couldn't believe they did it no wonder it took like three years to do it because it seems like it's impossible but then again you have the urethane microspheres that are right in here and that's going to give you that amazing sound without sacrificing distance great feel um, and then just that premium look. I mean, the premium finish is just, uh, this is what a lot of tour players are going to use. A lot of a lot of our guys will play muscle backs, they'll play this. Long irons, a, a lot of guys have three irons or four irons in apex. And then, we have the smoke. This is fire right here. This is straight fire. So, you can get the smoke finish. Um, it's a PVD finish just as slick as you possibly can get. We offer this in Apex and Apex Pro. So you can get a combo set, you can get uh, four, five, six, seven in Apex, eight, nine pitching wedge in Apex Pro. You get it with the smoke finish, you get it without the smoke finish. Um, it's amazing. Like this, the fact that we're offering it now, usually like we would do it limited edition runs, you know? Like with the last version of Apex, it'd be very, we would offer like only a certain amount of sets. Now it's like a standard option. You get it, you get it smoke with a combo set, smoke with Apex, smoke with Apex Pro. A lot of golfers are really gonna be into that, especially with the black elevate, true temper shaft. I mean, black on black, hello. I mean, let's go, baby. You know, so as you can see, that's why I'm losing my voice because I'm so excited talking about all this new product. Um, but these are gonna be heavy hitters this year. Stroke Lab is gonna kill because the performance is amazing. But when you take these into a fitting day and you take them against other products, um, golfers will start seeing the results for themselves. And what we always tell golfers, like, don't just like test these, test them against your gamer, test them against every other brand. Like, let the performance speak for itself, let the numbers speak for itself, let the feel, you know, don't just go buy them, go test them. If they work out, great, if they don't, 
Well, hopefully we'll make some in the next couple of years. I will, you know, but uh, for the most part, they're like a fitter street design. So. And you guys also have a pretty awesome driver out on the market right now. Uh, what can you tell us about that? The driver just doesn't suck. You guys know from experience. Uh, <laughs> just let me tell you, I'm hitting almost every fairway with this new driver that we got. Yeah, so it's really like a distance driver, but it just so happens to be complemented with um, amazing forgiveness characteristics as well. Um, it was built using a supercomputer, and what I mean by that, it's machine learning. We, we, we set up the supercomputer so that it, it went through like 15,000 face iterations. So when you take the face off of the, off of the flash driver and look at the back, it's not just a flat face. It's full of peaks and valleys and waves that optimizes ball speed wherever you hit it on the face. So it's, a, it's meant to give you just insane ball speeds. But what that does is when you miss the center of the face, it helps hit more fairways as well. Your misses won't be as severe. Um, it has jailbreak, so combine flash face with jailbreak technology, and then just a distance machine. That just so happens to be very forgiving as well, you know? But ball speed story all the way, ball speed first, forgiveness second in that thing, but golfers will see that their dispersion is, is still gonna be very tight, and you guys could probably speak from experience on that. Right? I don't think I've ever hit more fairways in my right. life than with that driver, so, there you so go. I absolutely love it. Oh wait, uh, I, have, I have something to address here with you guys. This may or may not be true. I'm not sure which one it is. I'm not sure which one. So these guys were, were fit recently um, at a, an a epic lunch event. We got the specs from the fitters. These are the same fitters that fit Phil Mickelson, that fit Xander, that fit Berger. Like these are our tour fitters. Somebody got fit into a standard, standard epic flash driver. So we offer standard and sub zero. But you, but you still wanted the Sub Zero, even though you were fit by literally maybe one of the greatest fitters of all time. Yeah. All right, so it was, all it was literally. Me. Okay, so let me just give you a little context. You know, I think that's the funniest thing in the world. Wait, when I got fit for I the road, I got fit for Sub Zero and broke ten and a half degree. And went to Fujikora after we got the right shaft in it. It was it was money. We went to Callaway, we did the fitting, it felt right. But you know what? I had to cancel that order. Give me the Sub Zero, and guess what? I put my shaft in it. We went and played with it. At Bay Hill, and I was bombing that thing, oh. and it was perfect. So, so my call was the right. Right, because you, you were. I respect they, that. They you know what? Because I still play MBs. They didn't I have, have no the lefty ten and a half. So that was the issue. They didn't have the lefty ten and a half sub zero. I so. thought that was the best. Yeah. I thought that was literally the greatest yeah, thing I've ever you, heard. When you know how you're yeah. swinging it, where right. you're playing, and where you're just playing, gotta go with it. That. That's, yeah. right. That's right. I have no business playing muscle back iron, but I do because it's fun, <laughs> you know. But I mean, he played sub zero rogue. We'll give him, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll either one is great, great though, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's a win-win win situation. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for uh, spending some time. Oh, with us. Hey, Jay, I love appreciate you guys, it. Anytime. Anytime. Anything for you guys. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks, it, thanks, man. Marco. Yeah. Thanks, Mikey. Yeah. We just uh, ran into Jason Finley here at Callaway. We ordered uh, a couple hundred dozen of these uh, Golf Holics logo balls. First sight, here it is. <laughs> Order them up. <laughs> yeah. We got Bradley putters in the house. Uh, tell us a little bit about your product. Yeah, so it's a, a stabilized wood putter. Uh, it's, it's a putter with a story. When you putt with this, people are going to ask you, what is it, where did you get it? This story is, I, uh, I used to sit in this cherry tree and spit cherry pits at my sister. So my dad and I have matching putters. Yeah, it's a little Peter Pan effect. Like I, I use this putter and I'm, it's my childhood. I made putters out of like Russell Wilson's baseball bat. I uh, met Mahomes yesterday, and so I'm going to make a putter for him. Um, we do. We tell stories with our putters. It's uh, it'll feel just as good as your Scotty or any other putter, but it begs it begs a question. Well, it looks great, feels great, and uh, definitely go check these guys out. Uh, they got some really cool products going on. Bradley putters. I would say like 90% of my putters are in game. Like they're not they're not wall hands. Like people actually play them. You could do both. You could yep. game it and come home and put it on your wall. Yep. You got a nice piece of art there. Yep. You know, it's it's a win -win. <laughs> we can do you know with face balance toe hang like we could if you have a putter you love you want the feel of it we can match it exactly but then it's made with like wood from your childhood home wood from your favorite course so wood from like the basketball court of your favorite team like what what other materials can you work with obviously wood you got acrylic wooden acrylic we can put things under acrylic we've done like challenge coins okay. like military challenge coins like it, we we put we're right now we're doing one with turquoise and like some other gemstones we're like inlaying it like turquoise alignment like you name it and. Every butter I make, I'm on the phone with a person for like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes talking about who they are as a person, what uh, what excites them, what story do they want to tell, and then we wrap that story into a butter. So every time they're playing,
point with it, they're talking about who they are as a person, what makes them excited, like what gets them up in the morning, and it's in a puddle. And what about the head covers? Do you make those as well? Yeah, yeah, we do our own custom head covers. I've got, uh, this is, so check this out. Only you can prevent three putts, right? <laughs> like, so we do our own that. We do uh, leather ones. I've got some gator ones right now that, like, we do crazy exotics. We do matching head covers and grips. Yeah. Yeah. Turnaround time is for what? Two weeks to two months, depending on. It's all handmade, no CNC machines. Like, everything is done by hand. So it, uh, it takes some time. Yeah. Lead times are getting bumped out right now. It's getting pretty crazy. But but it's, it's custom, it's special. No one will have a putter like it. It will be entirely yours. And I uh, guarantee you love it. Uh, it started in 1986 by Peter Jacobson and his brother David, uh, named after a guy named Rick McKenzie, who was the caddy master at St. Ann. I bought it, we bought it in 2014. Uh, it had its uh, cobwebs that needed to be cleaned out. We, we, I think we've done a pretty good job of that. And then um, revamped the website and all the social media and the way to sell it. And then. In April of uh, last year, we'll be 18, we bought For You, which is the hand knit, uh, worsted wool, beautiful head covers that have, frankly, been our show. Uh, done really well with that. These right here? These here, yes. Yeah. And you get, you know, the clubs, the, all the top clubs get them, yeah. get their style, and, and they just kind of. Great price point, and they just jump right off the shelf. Yeah. And a great product. Well, I love your bags. I've seen them around. I'm a member at Santa Cruz down in San Diego, and that's cool guys that have them down there. Absolutely love them. I've been on the website multiple times, kind of custom building one, but haven't quite you know pulled the trigger on one. But uh, beautiful product, and it's really nice to see them in person and to kind of feel some of the different materials. You know, and that's the thing. Once you feel it, touch yeah. it, you're going to buy it. Man. And the other thing is, it's like uh, you know you don't buy one of these to buy one next year. We buy this one to last 25, 30 years. We have bags coming back that were built in 1986, 1987. Can you just clean this up, clean that up, and they're still using it? We have one back here that's probably, it's got to be 25. Is that brown one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, were yeah. looking at that one. It was About 25 yeah. years old. Yeah. And that's the and beauty of it. Yeah. That's the beauty of them, that they just last yeah. forever. I mean, they're hand-cut, hand-made, hand-sewn. Portland, Oregon. Yep. Not anywhere else, not in some other country. I mean, if you're looking for something else, you got to go somewhere else. Yeah. That's what we made. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Absolutely. That's Anytime. All right, so we got Greg Norman over here, the shark. We're going to check him out. Hopefully, we can say hello, get a picture maybe with him, but there's a long line for him. It might not work out today, but this is the man right here. So, the speed bag is bringing the heat back, and if you guys don't know, it's super aerodynamic, it has a milk face, you will literally gain miles per hour on your swing, I mean five, and I'm not being biased, it might be a little bit, but I don't know, but I'm just saying, literally the co Cobra is doing a lot right now, and you guys gotta come here and follow them. Alright, this was our favorite uh, iron of the uh, demo day. It was the uh, JPX 919 from uh, Mizuno. It's a great club. It felt like uh, they did a really good job with the head coming off the face. This comes off hot with a nice, nice little baby draw for me. And uh, these were our favorite irons of, uh, you know, it was kind of a big surprise too. We were uh, very uh, impressed with uh, the irons that uh, Mizuno made this year. Alright, we got the Strix on irons, the 785s. I think these were our second favorite irons of the, uh, the demo day. Uh, Marco absolutely loved them uh, with the Nippon shaft. And uh, yeah, they, they, were, uh, they were pretty great clubs and we might have to try them out for real. Alright, we're over here at Mira right now. Uh, one of the best uh, Japanese club manufacturers. Uh, it's all forged heads. Uh, and from what, what we were told, it comes off really soft and really nice. Uh, we hit them at demo day, it felt great. A really good product. This is the CB301. Uh, uh, really good club. This is the Nikon, uh, probably one of the most affordable, greatest products on the market right now, about half the price of uh, Bushnell, and it uh, looks like the quality is great, it's small, fits in your bag great. Uh, I think this is the most affordable, well-made uh, rangefinder out on the market.
right, so we're here over at Bushnell, one of the top range finders in the business. Uh, they got the Tour V4, the Tour V4 Shift, and then the Hybrid. Uh, I heard the Hybrid is just amazing. It's got a magnet built into it, and uh, you can do the shift of the, uh, the slope on it, or no slope, whatever you want. And uh, you don't need like a magnet to uh, stick on the, uh, the cart. It just comes in automatically, which I think is pretty amazing and innovative. Um, so, yeah, it feels good. It's lightweight, fits in your hand, and uh, it's what I use. It's what the Big Cat uses, and uh, it's a good brand. So, this is the even roll hatchback. It's a little offset. This is the way I like it. Uh, feels really good. I can't wait to go get fitted over there. Uh, I think they're based out of Carlsbad in our hometown, so we're going to go uh, get a putter fitting from them and uh, looking forward to it. And they have a black version too. Same exact putter mill and with a little blacky shaft. This thing looks absolutely awesome. I've actually been using So, here's, here's, how, you, here's how you use them for training mode. Two modes, training mode. You set it up with the head behind the ball. So the shaft is, is equal to the back of the ball right about here. Okay. So then I'm going to set up, and what am I going to do? I'm going to have a shorter takeaway because the head's already back there. But then I, when I'm coming through, I know the head's not there yet. So what am I going to do? I'm going to keep it square. I'm going to stay with it. Right? I'm not going to turn it over and give up on it. And because I've, I've committed to that spot, then I'm going to have a longer follow through. So the stroke of the tour players, I, I did a Ledbetter putting system years ago with David Ledbetter, and that was the stroke we determined that all the tour guys made this, this shorter take away, uh, slightly inside, square, square, and then a longer follow through back inside. That's just a, that's the standard stroke. So when you take this, you automatically do that. Somebody who's never played golf in their life will make this will make the uh, will make the perfect stroke. So so, it's, so now after you train like that, I mean Jim Furyk when years ago he had one of these when I first ones. He would uh, he'd hit like a thousand putts before trying to just to get that just to get that feel of staying. So, so now we're going to play it like a real putter. This is the player mode. So you put it right behind the ball. Okay, so now what's happened is, is I'm, I've got forward press without leaning the shaft. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Because yeah. that looks odd. Right. So now you don't have to look at that. And also, the other thing is, is that because the entire head is all the way back here, the effective MOI, which means from the shaft, is 20,000. So if I put the shaft right here, like right about here, it would be like 3,500 more. Effective MOI, meaning what, what the golfer feels. But when I move it all the way out here, it exponentially gets bigger. So this is super stable because it's so far from the shaft. So now it goes way up in the MOI scale. So it's super, super stable and impact. And it delivers a huge sweet spot. The ball, the, the line on the ball won't wiggle if you hit it out here, out here, out here. So, so now I set it up behind it. Now I've got it. Now I've got a, a stable, a stable putter that's going to allow me to, to stay. Stay. I'm rising when I get to the ball, and my hands are in a position where I'm not going to flip my wrist because I've already got a preset. So, it makes you feel square all the way down because the steel rod is right down here. Right. See right on the bottom? Okay. Now this entire this this rubber is, is ultralight EVA foam. And so this foam, this all this whole body without without this in it weighs 35 grams. Okay. That weighs 75 grams in steel rod. So what you're doing is you're suspending this is the center of the shaft. This is almost an inch away from the center of the shaft, below, just directly below the shaft. So when you have it below the shaft, the waist down here is pulling the, it's pulling the, the grip down, and it's telling you where the face is. So you feel, you can feel the face. You feel, you feel square. That's the line. It tells, it tells that uh, you, can, you can tell the face is square with your eyes shut. This is the Betonardi. Uh, it's the stainless, the stainless steel studios stock 28. Uh, it's a 
milled faced rind mallet butter. Uh, looks wonderful. Obviously, Bednardi is uh, one of the top leaders in butters. Really good brand. Uh, been around for a really long time. Alright, guys, hopefully, you enjoyed that little behind the scenes of the PGA show. There's just an overwhelming amount of stuff here, but uh, it was kind of cool to walk around and test out some of the products, um, see some of the companies that we didn't get to see out at Demo Day. And, uh, yeah, what'd you think of it? I think as a fan and uh, product consumer, it's just great to come here and check out all the different stuff that's innovating. Uh, you know, that's new on the market. They had a lot of really great stuff. Obviously, you guys saw that. Um, you know, still our favorite iron is probably those Mizuno irons. Uh, I think the best bang for your buck for rangefinders is that uh, Nikon uh, rangefinder. It was really great. Uh, the even roll putters really uh, wowed us. The Drew belts, obviously, are it's my new favorite belt. Uh, I think I'm going to be a Drew belt only kind of guy. Uh, but overall, it was just a great experience. It was great to meet everybody, and uh, we had a great time here. All right, guys, hit a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, leave us a comment down below. We'll see you guys for the next one. Later. Did you go? All right, guys, well, hopefully you got some good insights there at the PGA show. I think Coach did most of the interviewing, so a big thanks. Hit a thumbs up for Coach uh, for going in there and really putting it in one. <laughs> 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 I got him. I got him on a good one right now. Get this Daniel. That was sick. <laughs> Alright, we better focus up here. Hi, Charles. We got a job to do, son. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm not ready yet. Oh, no, I need to take, take a break. Like, give me five to ten. <laughs> Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Alright. Alright, we're doing it. Are you got it? Okay.